The whole life I'd gone to church, I read my Bible, done all that stuff. And I don't know. You ever get to the point where you've just gone to enough church services and enough places that you're like, okay, I've heard all this stuff about God, but I can't just live off someone else. God, if you're real, I have to know you for myself. That was that was that was it. That was my my moment where everything changed. I cried out and screamed in my car, God, if you're real, I have to know you. And it was insane. Like after that day, everything started changing. Like everything started coming alive for me. It was like a light bulb had gone off in my mind. It was insane how everything changed. And all of a sudden I started falling in love with this thing called prayer. You know, for so long, prayer, prayer, what's prayer? We hear it a lot, but like, what is it really? And I discovered it was simply me talking to God and Him talking back. It was amazing how prayer was so much simpler than I had ever dreamed. Prayer is about relationship. It's all about relationship with God. Relationship is built off connection that is sustained. Connection is built off of communication that is valued. When that communication of what is in our hearts is valued and it's reciprocated back and forth, all of a sudden a connection is established. Oh my gosh, this person gets me. This person hears my heart. This person actually wants to know who I am. And as that's established, all of a sudden a relationship starts to build. And God's heart is for relationship and for intimacy. When we encounter God in prayer, when we communicate with God and He communicates His heart back, there's a life and a joy in that that I've never experienced anywhere else. I've never encountered such joy as when God speaks His heart to me and it moves my heart. Thank you, God, that you're transforming. Thank you that I'm becoming more like you. Thank you for what you're doing in my life. And it's this beautiful cycle of love and thankfulness and joy and peace and righteousness where our life has meaning and no matter what pain we go through, like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because suddenly there's something more important. We actually discover how amazing it is to know God. He steps into our lives and helps us, but it, it's until we ask, we often don't see it. He doesn't force his way in, but he is someone who loves to love. And when we ask, God, I wanna know you, he says, I know you and I want you to know me because as I love you, you'll learn how to love others in the way you've always wanted to but never known how. And, man, talk about some of the changes in your life.